So how do we know as teachers if AI wrote a student's assignment? Here are seven ways that you can find out. So first up, if the student's work has zero errors and it appears to be flawless, that could be a red flag. So while our students can certainly produce high quality work, consistently perfect assignments, even from our students who excel academically, this might indicate some AI assistance. The second thing to do is to keep an eye out for the use of advanced jargon, vocabulary, punctuation, or methods that seem beyond the student's usual capabilities. If you're seeing a lot of, let's say, M dashes, no high school student is using those. Well, maybe some are, but a lot of them are not. Um, or they're using words that are filled with specific jargon that they probably wouldn't know. It might be worth investigating further. Another telltale sign is when an assignment is completed suspiciously quickly, almost too quickly. It's scary how fast you just did that. While some students are natural quick workers, if the speed of the completion seems out of character or unrealistic with the length of the assignment, it could hint that AI was involved. Next, observe any noticeable changes in the student's writing style or academic level of their work. It's not the same. If there's a sudden shift in tone or voice or complexity without a reasonable explanation, and it's quite obvious, it could suggest that there was an external intervention involved. Number five, this is using an AI detection software. So now this isn't my favorite option as I have not found one that I really, really like. And believe me, I've tried a lot of them, but if you're using one, pay attention to any alerts or red flags that these tools raise from the student's work, but be sure to also fact check those flags with another detection method from this list just to be sure. So even though I haven't found one to be 100% accurate, I do like the Chrome extension Brisk teaching for AI detection because it takes the next step further uh, that most AI checkers won't do. So it looks at not only the words that the student submitted, but it also looks at how long it took the student to produce the work and how much copying and pasting happened. So this does only work in Google Docs. It is a Google extension. Uh, you can try it out for free, of course, brisk teaching. Number six, you can ask the student verbally to explain their work. Okay, sure, right. So why don't you explain what that is to the, so they can understand. Yeah, Just well, explain you, what that is. Explain what you think that is. Okay. Just explain it. Verbally ask them questions about the topics in their, in their writing assignment. This can help gauge their understanding of the material and identify any differences between their spoken explanations and the written content that they handed in. So a genuine comprehension will shine through in a way that AI generated responses just can't replicate. And if they have no idea about what you're talking about when you bring up statements from their written assignment, then they may not have wrote that piece themselves. And the last thing, certainly not least, is we are just going to use our teacher knows. Interesting. Trust your instincts as an educator. We are natural born truth sleuths. <laughs> your experience and your intuition can often pick up on subtle clues or those inconsistencies that may indicate AI involvement. So if something feels off about a student's work, don't hesitate to investigate further. The use of AI in education presents unique challenges, and one of them being how do we help students thrive and navigate in this world in AI and instill in them that their authentic voice needs to be heard. We must just continue to stay vigilant. We need to be on the lookout for these red flags that AI may have contributed to their writing. And when it happens, we just need to call their attention to this, talk to our students about it, and talk about how we use AI ethically. We need to talk. And I'd love to know how you personally know if a student has used AI to complete their work or how you're talking about ethical AI use in your classroom. Share in the comments below. Also like and subscribe to the channel where you can always count on free educational technology support for teachers. And if you want to know more about how you can leverage AI as a teacher, the next video is all about AI prompts you can use to save time in creating educational material.